Let's talk about using the formatting panel of the Note Flight Editor. I've selected a four part corral from the Note Flight Learn libraries to demonstrate using the formatting panel. Now, quick refresh way back to 101 level, we have the parts panel, which lets us show individual parts, right? Now, the other option is the formatting panel, which I'm gonna talk about now. This is when it gets more advanced. You can format your score and all of your parts and individual parts independently. So what does this mean? Well, let's say that I would like my score in landscape. And let's say I would like my score. Notice I've selected full score up here, so that's what I'm editing now, and it shows you what you're editing, right? By the way, you'll notice that NoFlight always has side panels, right? You have your menu on the left, and you have your formatting on the right. We do not like things floating in your face as you're trying to compose. So no disrespect to any other software product, but a thing that pops up and another thing that pops up and things that pop up all in your face, we find that very confusing. We, it's at the heart of our editor philosophy to keep the music in view at all times and let you work on the side, but always see what's happening to the music while you do it. So that's a very common theme that you'll notice. Now, so I'm gonna move my notes around. I'm making my notes a little bigger. You see I am like actually can see the score edit. So one thing I like to do is say, I'd like to get, you know, there's four states. I'd like to get two systems per page. So let me tweak this. Let me make my staff spacing a little smaller. You see I'm getting my staff spacing tighter, my note spacing tighter. You can kind of go to, oh, there it goes. I wanna get this right here, cool. So I'm happy. I got a landscape score. I've got two systems per page. Life is good. Let's say I wanna move some text around. You know, I'd like this prompt to be a little bigger. Okay, so we've got this set up. Now, what about my parts? Well, by default, I've selected parts. The parts inherit the score. But what if I don't want my parts in landscape? Let me put my parts in portrait parts and portraits, it's very alliterative. Um, make my note size bigger. Oh, I don't. I think the, the system space is way too much. Let me tighten this up. Notice all my parts are highlighted and there's a little eyeball in one. So I'm looking at the soprano part, but the, the changes I'm making are affecting all parts and you can choose which part you wanna look at while you're making your changes just to see how it all works out. Maybe I want the notes to be really big but now I don't like my uh, prompt that big. Let me bring that down. So I've made these updates, right? Now let's say, uh, and these apply to all four parts. This applies to every part. Now let's say I wanna do something with the base part. Like I don't like the way this systems break. I wanna break this here. And I wanna make the base part, maybe I uh, need to make a, the, the notes really big for the, the the bass voice. So I'm gonna make the bass voice really big. Notice I selected bass voice. So now I have custom formatted my full score, my parts, and even down to the details of my bass parts. And again, all the settings are available for every individual part or all parts or score. So those include showing bar numbers. You can put bar numbers on the part, you can put bar numbers on the score, standard font versus jazz font, all of these options you can see, sizing all the different elements you can resize, text, all the different text elements you can resize, page setup, all the different margins and adjustments. Again, you can apply these independently. Now the cool thing is, is that now when I go back in my parts panel, guess what? I isolate the soprano, there's my properly formatted soprano. There's my properly formatted alto. There's my properly formatted tenor. And there's my bass that has bigger notes. I love this feature, right? You have complete control of your full score and all your parts down to every little detail, but it's all dynamically connected at all times. And I'll tell you a secret, coming soon, being worked on right now, NoteFlight is adding 
multiple fonts for every piece of text. So you'll see very soon the ability to have to choose from, oh gosh, I think it's, I can't remember the final number. It's all the Google fonts, a bunch of other custom fonts. I think it's like 12 or 18 or 20 different fonts with the bold, italic, all of that. So this panel is gonna update and you'll have complete control of different fonts, which I think is really cool. One other power tip, since this is now the 201 level, is when you're formatting your parts, also know whether you've selected it in the parts panel or in the formatting panel, your page breaks and system breaks actually apply. So if I go into the alto part and say, I want two measures of system, I'm gonna break this so I see two measures of system, and I'm just hitting enter to do page breaks. I could spend like 16 hours on the editor, so I know there's a lot of things I'm going quickly over, but we think these are the cool power tips. So I've kind of edited this part, cool. Now my soprano part hasn't changed, my tenor part hasn't changed, but my alto parts changed. All of those are retained at the part level. So now you can exit out of formatting, you can go into parts panel. Here's my show all for score. Here's my alto part with system breaks. Here's my soprano part, and you can also do combinations. So notice as soon as you start combining, you're showing subsets of the score. So you can show any combination of parts you want, solo individual parts, etc. And the last thing I'll show with power format, all of that, and your and our power tips is when you go to print, you can print just the full score just the individual parts, or you can print full score and individual parts. The same with PDF, you could export PDF of full score and individual parts automatically. So all those formatting changes, you hit one button, everything prints out, hand them to your players, life is good. That is the formatting panel in the Note Flight Editor.